what's up? It's me, Devin here, and I'm here talking about one of my favorite plants, Russian sage. Russian sage, this is a plant that we planted here in this bed of rocks about three years ago, and you can see the gorgeous clump that it has grown into. This is a, this is a dwarf variety, which is only supposed to get around three feet tall and wide, but it is probably four to five feet wide and four feet tall. Um, this is called Little Spires. And um, what I love about this plant is so, so many things. First of all, it's growing in these rocks. The soil is terrible. It's exceptionally high draining area. What that means is that this is one of the best drought tolerant plants that you can grow. It will take this blazing hot heat and sun day in and day out, as well as the freezing cold winters that we get here in Eastern Pennsylvania. Um, the other thing I love about it is this will flower now it's the first week of July. This started flowering, I would say about three weeks ago, and it's gonna bloom from June into July, August, September, probably into October. That's like five solid months. And you can see the beautiful flowers that it produces, that gorgeous lavender purple, along with that almost minty green foliage that it's just a to die for combination. It goes exceptionally well complemented by these rocks. It's a wonderful energy that it produces and it is a magnet for the pollinators like our bees. And it is a magnet for our pollinators like our bees and sometimes butterflies as well. But there's a, a swarm, not a swarm, but there's a number of bees back here that are doing their job beautifully right now. Here's one right here. Um, and they just come, they do their little thing, they play, they go from flower to flower and they enjoy life. What a, what a wonder to, to watch bees. Um, I, love, I love bees and it's taken me a while to get used to them, but I think that once you accept them and stop being afraid of them and let them be kind of partners in your life, they start to treat you the same way. Uh, See all those things fluttering around? Those are little beautiful bees. They're not doing any harm. They're what we want. They're what we need. We love the bees. Provide some plants to feed them. Look at that little guy, it's so cute. Um, the only thing to do in terms of care is that after that, you know, I would say that after that first frost in November around here, you cut this down to the ground, cut it down to the ground, and then over winter it's dormant, it's non-existent, it's not there, and then it starts to perk back up in the springtime. It's one of the first plants to uh, grow back up above the ground. It's kind of like, like your hydrangeas um, and some of your daylilies as well one of the early growers of the season and it just goes and goes and goes we don't fertilize this we don't water it and look how beautiful it is this is russian sage highly drought tolerant heat resistant pollinator magnet winter hardy stunningly long blooms fragrant foliage and flowers it's a winning plant anyways i'm devin Walleen. you can catch me on youtube at plant vibrations with Devin or on Instagram plant.vibrations. Catch you later.